Today we're going to take you through the initial learn mode of a Loop 2 drill monitor system. Before turning on your monitor, make sure that all sensors are unplugged. That would be every 3-pin weather pack connector at every sensor. The only 3-pin weather pack connector that should be plugged in is the connector at the hitch. Once you make sure that all sensors are unplugged, simply turn your Loop 2 drill monitor on. It will come to the main startup menu. Simply hit the down arrow key to learn new system and then hit the select key. This will overwrite your existing setup. Go ahead and hit the select key on that as well. Now it says install sensor speed. Any drill equipped with a mechanical or magnetic ground speed sensor should go ahead and plug that sensor in at this time. After you plug in the ground speed sensor, as you can see, it will say install sensor fan one. Most drill monitor systems, unless installed on an air seeder, will not have this sensor. And you will simply hit the select button on skip this type of sensor. As you can see, it moves on to the next sensor, which is a shaft sensor. If you do not have shaft sensors or bin level sensors, you will simply hit the select button on skip this type of sensor. If you do have these sensors, simply plug them in in the order that it asks you to. Once you get through the three shaft and the three bin level sensors, you will see that it says install sensor seed one. These are the population sensors and you should plug them in in the order you want them to be. In this case, there are four population sensors in the current system we are installing today and we will plug them in in order one, two, three, and then four. After we've installed all four sensors, it says install sensor seed five. We no longer have any more of this type of sensor and we can hit the down arrow key to skip this type of sensor. There are 24 of them available. And now it has gone on to the next type of sensor, which is blockage modules. Any air seeder equipped with blockage modules should go ahead and plug those modules in order. And when done, go ahead and hit select on skip this type of sensor. And the installation is complete. Simply hit the select button on exit it comes back to the main startup menu. And then what you wanna do is power down your Loop 2 drill monitor. Go ahead and power the unit back on. It should come up and say, wait for sensors to complete calibration. This will happen every time you power on the unit. This is calibrating the seat count sensors to determine how well they can see across the tube. Just let them complete this process and do not hit the cancel button. When they're done calibrating, it will come to the main startup screen and you will see three speed readouts, two on the top two displays and one on your lower display that will always read speed. At this point, the installation is complete.